Hi guys, my name is Christine and today I'm talking about how to achieve anything. So basically if you have a goal and you are wanting to achieve it, then this video should help you. So the first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to achieving any kind of goal and to achieve anything that you want basically, the first thing that you need to have is of course something to aim for. You need to have a goal, you need to have something that you are trying to work towards. So it's really important that you have, as Napoleon Hill would say, a definite chief aim. So something that you are trying to work towards. And the thing that you need after obviously having something that you actually want, a clear defined goal, is to actually have some kind of plan that you are working towards to achieve that goal. Now, the important thing about the plan is that it doesn't need to be perfect. It just You just need to have one. You just need to have some kind of idea of what you need to do in order to reach that goal. So it doesn't have to be a perfect plan because the good thing about plans is that you can always change your plan, you can always tweak it, you can always change it if you need to, right? But you need to have things that you're doing every day or you know as often as you can to achieve it. So for example, if obviously you wanted to lose weight or something like that, or you wanted to get fitter, then obviously you would need some kind of like exercise regime, there's some kind of exercise plan, and obviously a nutrition plan. You know, that's kind of like the idea here, you know, so it, that can be used in any kind of circumstance, whether it's like a business goal, or whether it's something like uh, to do with your hobbies or something, or perhaps it's the goal of having a family, you know, there's, there's a plan that you can take there's a plan that you can come up with and follow that plan and like I said you know if it, the plan isn't working you can always change it so it doesn't have to be a perfect plan the important thing that you do have though is something that you're aiming for something that you clearly know that you're trying to achieve and of course working towards it with some sort of plan that you have because sometimes I feel like you know um, people are perfectionists and they want to have the perfect plan before they even start out but knowing that you can tweak things, you can change things as you go along, is actually a really comforting thing to know. All you need to do is just have some kind of plan and then you can work to correct it as you go ahead and as you keep on taking action. But you gotta, you gotta get started, you gotta take action, you gotta start doing whatever it is that you need to do to get to that goal. You know, for example, it might be a money goal. You know, you have to work out like, okay, okay so what do I need to do to, to be able to be earning that sort of income? How, what do I need to be doing every day to be, uh, to actually get there, to get to that income that I want. You need to have some kind of plan and taking action on it. Another thing that I think is really important when it comes to achieving what you want is to actually trust your intuition. You know, you, you've got a plan, you've got something that you're aiming for, and then you've got to like start relying as well on your instincts, on knowing when to take action, knowing the right actions to take, um, you know, uh, acting on inspired thought. Of course, you need to be rational about it. You don't want to be sort of over the all over the place. And what I mean by that is that sometimes you might be, you know, getting really inspired about something, but it might not be the right kind of action. So you also need to have this sort of balance of intuition and inspiration and enthusiasm mixed with being rational and self-disciplined and getting that mix right like it's important that you obviously act on your inspiration but it's also good to like guess you know second guess your your inspirations and not being too enthusiastic and make sure and making sure basically that you're being rational and that this is actually working towards your plan so for example let's say um, you have a blog and it's all about finances but then all of a sudden you get an inspirational thought to create a blog post about baking a cake you know obviously you're inspired to, to, to do that post but that's actually not in line with your major goal and it might actually take you a few steps back if your main goal is to start a finance blog and be writing about finances there's no point in you making a post about that you know, perhaps it might be the case that you need to actually have a different sort of blog um, for these other ideas that you have, these other kind of things. But if your definite chief aim is to have a successful finance blog or something along those lines, then of course you need to be, you know, acting on inspired thought related to those topics not other things that might take you off course. I highly recommend that you watch this video on persistence because persistence is another major key that you need when it comes to achieving your goals. And I think really that is one of the main things that you actually do need to have in order to achieve your goal. So if you are enjoying this video, then you'll definitely enjoy that one. The next thing I wanna talk about when it comes to achieving your goal and basically how to achieve anything that you want is that whatever you're doing, whatever you are trying to achieve, 
Um, you need to be putting your best foot forward. You need to be rendering great service. You need to be doing your best, basically. There's no point you half-heartedly doing stuff because I think sometimes people can tell if you're doing something half-heartedly, that you don't really mean what you say, that you don't really care about what you're saying, um, that you're not really giving it your all. But when you really try your best and you really give it your all and you're trying to give back to the world in the best way that you possibly can and trying to create genuine things that are useful, because, you know, that's one of the great ways that you can become successful. You know, that's why Elon Musk is successful. And that's why Henry Ford was successful and Thomas Edison, because they were creating useful things that the world needed. And that's all you really need, actually, to be able to become successful in a certain field you know you just need to find something that's extremely useful and then um, kind of create it at scale um, and trying to get it out to as many people as possible because I don't think you can truly be successful by being a con artist you can't really be successful if you're not creating things that don't actually work if you're not trying to give the best and most useful service as you possibly can and it may be true that you can succeed for a while by doing that sort of thing by by being a bit of a chartelain shall we say um, but eventually those kinds of things will catch up to you and they don't work out in the end. But if you're always trying to do your very best and you're living by your own standards, by you know delivering the best service that you possibly can, you will succeed, you will get there eventually. You just need to keep on um, doing it and keep on putting your best foot forward and keep on trying your best. And so the last thing that I wanna talk about is you know th thinking properly, right? And what I mean by this is that Sometimes, you know, we kind of let our mind run on autopilot. We kind of let our mind be filled with things that are kind of useless to, towards our main chief aims in life, towards our goals. If you really want to succeed at your goal, then you need to be thinking about it all the time. You need to be thinking about how can I do this? How can I succeed at this? You know, how, what can I create that can get me there? What can I do that can get me there? How can I make this successful? Whatever it may be. How can I become successful? What do I need to know? You need to really be thinking about this a lot. You can't just be, you know, doing your day-to-day -day activities and then you're too busy thinking about what you're eating or you might be thinking about an argument that you had with someone in your family or at work. You know, you really need to be focusing your attention um, and thinking about your major chief aim. Because if you're not, and you're just thinking of a hundred different in incompatible things, then you're not gonna get there. You really need to be directing your thoughts and really thinking about uh, what it is you want. And I think a great way to do this is like visualization. You know, when you kind of like visualize your goal, when you're imagining it, imagining it, because your imagination is amazing. Like our imaginations as human beings are incredible. And sometimes I feel like we use it for the wrong things. We're just sort of imagining what happened yesterday or 10 years ago, or what we're having for dinner or um, imagining that imaginary argument that you're having with someone at the office or something like that, or you're imagining what you're going to say to someone when you see them and stuff like that but you should be actually using your imagination for more proactive things, you know, like achieving your goal, like if imagining um, yourself working towards your goal, imagining what it would feel like when your goal is achieved, imagining what you can do, you know, thinking up creative ideas, you know, really, really, really thinking, um, instead of letting your mind run on useless and unimportant things. And this is something that I've been thinking about quite a lot recently as well. You know, how often my mind drifts to like useless things that are not really getting me anywhere, that are just causing anxiety and worry and stress. Instead, I should be thinking about things that are actually helpful, that is actually going to help me achieve my own goals and stuff like that. You know, so we need to really start paying attention to our minds and what they're thinking. Um, and redirecting our thoughts because we're the only creatures that can really do that you know you should really be once you realize that you're thinking of something useless you should be then redirecting your thoughts to something that is actually important that is actually going to help you achieve your goal you know if you want to succeed at your goal essentially you need to become obsessed with it you need to keep on thinking about it you need to keep on imagining ideas and imagining things that you can do to achieve that goal and uh, using your brain for the proper reasons and those are basically my ideas on how you can achieve anything how to really achieve your goals and uh, I hope it's really helped you. If it has helped you, then please let me know. If you have any thoughts and ideas yourself, then please write them down in the comments so we can all help each other out. I love hearing about your stories, about your experiences. Um, so please let me know all of your thoughts down below. And if you haven't done so already, then please leave a like on this video and also please subscribe to this channel as well if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.